Okay. Welcome to Chemistry with Mr. Olson. This morning we have a guest, which is Curtis Washington, who teaches physics here at Mills High School. And he's currently on leave, serving as the on the board of directors of the California Teachers Association. And he is here today to help me present an important concept in chemistry, which is The mole. the mole, thank you, Yay. thank you, yay, the mole. All right, let's see if we can get the mole sitting there. Or would you like the mole? No, no, he's good. All right, he's good. Here we go. Uh, orchestra, whoa, does this thing mole? Have you heard six times 10 to the 23rd? That's a six with 23 zeros at the end. Much too big to comprehend. Oh, a mole is an animal that burrows in the ground. For a spot on your chin, you shave around. But there's another more a mole of interest to me. And the kind of mole they used in chemistry. Oh, a mole is a unit, have you heard? It's six times ten to the twenty-third. Say you had a mole of pennies for the world To give to each and every boy and girl There wouldn't be a single person out of luck Cause each would get a trillion bucks Or say you had a mole of paper stacked it toward the sky Paper's awful thin but that pile would get so high it would reach up into outer space, I think that you'd find that go to the moon and back 80 billion times. Oh, a mole is a unit, have you heard? It's six times 10 to the 23rd. Suppose a mole of marshmallows fell on the planet. Over each square inch of land and sea, could you stand it? That layer would be 12 miles high and block the sun. We're talking 5 million trillion tons. Well, maybe we could save ourselves if we started eating one marshmallow each second, not two, because that would be cheating. With 45 billion people munching, how long do you think it would take? 40 million years without a bathroom break. Oh, a mole is a unit, have you heard? It's six times twenty to the twenty-third. But say you had a mole of atoms, would the pile be immense? Should I say the answer now or leave you in suspense? Well, atoms are so very small, small, you understand. You could hold a mole of atoms in your hand. You could hold a mole of atoms in your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. So this is a mole of copper. How many atoms? Uh, We're recording, you know. We want to hear it. Oh. Ask him again. Ask him again. The same oh. question. Okay, we got a mole of uh, copper here. How many atoms? Uh, six point zero two times ten to the twenty-third. Yes. 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 Ah! We've got a mole of lead here. How many atoms? Yes! 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 yes. We've got a mole of water here. How many atoms? No! No! Ask him again! Ask him again, Curtis! We've got a mole of water here. How many atoms? Zero? Now, now they're blowing my mind. Zero! Oh, look at that! Whoa, I would have never thought that's the sort of answer my daughter would give. She's three, and she always says things that just knock my block off. Zero, come on, you can do it. Somebody, 
Somebody can answer Curtis's question. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd times 3. Oh! Yes! I think this is so special. Five extra credit points. Yay! He's gonna notice. He's gonna notice. All right, let me make a note because I'm famous for forgetting things. <laughs> Woo! All right. Hmm. How do I turn this on?